Its name might be a bit misleading. The sea mouse is a marine worm and you usually won't catch sight of it, but it now happens to be the latest addition to the Blue Reef Aquarium. So our reporter Nicole Reese, who's already become sort of a worm expert, went to get some more information on the creature. This rock pool is currently home to a very rare guest. The sea mouse usually lives up to 3,000 metres under the surface, but due to stormy weathers, it's now residing at the Blue Reef Aquarium in Portsmouth. In this tank behind me here, we've actually got um, a number of different things, but the most interesting one is something that was brought in quite recently. Uh, it's called a sea mouse, is their common name. Um, they've got a rather furry sort of appearance, um, but they're actually very, very fine hairs that are actually very, very good at reflecting light. They're actually a species of polychaete worm, although they don't look very much like a worm at all. Um, but they're very unusual to have in an aquarium or um, close to the land at all, really. Uh, it was actually found by someone who was walking on the beach, someone who actually used to work here, who spotted it, and it's obviously come up possibly during some stormy weather, uh, as they're normally found a lot deeper down um, and buried in the sand. So not too much is known about them and their sort of activity beyond um, when they've been found in the past uh, from other samples. So finding one in an uh, to have in an aquarium um, is quite rare and very interesting for us to see, obviously. From afar, the sea mouse might just look like a greyish furry worm, but if one looks close enough, its hairy spines shine in bright rainbow colours. Um, the uh, hairs that are actually sort of look like they're very colourful actually work similar to sort of like an optical fibre, where they're just very good at reflecting light um, and uh, making it seem these kind of sort of rainbow-like uh, sort of colours. So it's more to do with the environment it's in and the light it's getting um, that determines how colourful it appears. But you know, that you could associate that. Obviously, if it's in a good environment, then obviously it's going to be a lot happier with where it is as well. Sea mice feed on anything from other worms to small crabs. The common name sea mouse relates to how the creatures look from above. The Latin name, however, derives from a slightly different perspective. The Latin name Aphrodite actually comes yeah, from Aphrodite, the goddess of love. And it's actually because when you view the animal ventrally, or from underneath, uh, it actually resembles a female genitalia. Additionally, the marine worm is a hermaphrodite. The species isn't only rare in the aquarium, but also on our coast. And since it would be difficult to return Aphrodite to its place of origin, it's most likely to stay in Blue Reef's rock pool. It lives quite deep down naturally, so returning it to the deep would be very, very complicated and not really feasible. Um, so for now, we're keeping it in a tank where we've simulated its environment uh, to, as best we can. And then um, we'll hope to see it, you know, in best case scenario, it might thrive in there. But um, hopefully, at the very least, we'll have it here for, uh, for some time to come, for people to see and enjoy. Um, and uh, hopefully have it here for, for quite a while. Nicole Ries, for that's Solent.